And the important set of our customers there, as I showed earlier on the slide, is actually universities. I would like to uh, invite uh, Professor Kregmar on stage to talk about their use of cloud services. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. You might wonder why universities and uh, what is there in terms of cloud services uh, for education? Well, if I look into the room and I look at the digital transformation uh, as the next thing, you are quite a number, but you're just not enough. There's more people that uh, the companies that you have heard would like to hire. So I'm here in two roles. One is the role of a worldwide association of information systems academics, about 4,000 all over the world, 90 countries. And we worry how can we best educate young people to grow the area uh, that builds in new applications. And the second one is to report to you some experiences that we have done as one of the university competence centers, uh, Technical University of Munich. So yes, the um, notion is to really go ahead very fast. And um, if you look at that, what we have heard in the last hours, it's about learning by doing. Uh, you expect to try out. We talked about agility. We talked about learning from that. And if you usually look at this picture, well, probably you might concentrate on the kids as usual. I'd like to concentrate on the person with the hat, uh, the one that is actually riding in front of the two others, because it's this uh, role of the teachers uh, that might inspire you. And uh, a little help from a friend that didn't let you build a data center, but that helped you to actually jump and said, well, it'll be fine. It'll probably hurt or even not. And if you do it 10 times, you'll probably have it done. Um, it was really helpful. And the precondition to do that, actually, is to make sure that the pool, once you land there, doesn't look like that. Um, so what do teachers actually need to be able to inspire you and give you the confidence uh, that you jump? Because teaching and researching ITIS topics requires really an up-to-date software and IT infrastructure. If I look at many of the public institutions, universities, uh, institutions of higher education, teachers are probably my age, old. And the infrastructure they have is old. They don't have a lot of investment. So what is a possible uh, solution for that? A possible solution would be to reuse the ready-to-use IT infrastructures according to the needs of the educational uh, institutions. But if you look, just look at the infrastructure, and you take uh, Werner's description of all the new services that AWS has, that's not that easy to teach. Because um, as Eric told us, uh, he needs a team that is really learning tough. And if you look at the average teacher's day at 20 hours to teach in the week, you would love to have the mastery, but they are fully averse with grading. So we have to make their life easier. And that's exactly uh, what, we're trying, uh, what we're trying to do. Because education as a service actually applies all of this. It implies that you have access to a cloud service and the infrastructure is there. But that's basically the pool. You need to fill that with teaching materials that are also enticing. And you also need to be able uh, to have supporting services. Remember, the business of teaching in universities is done on a 13-week schedule, Tuesday and Thursday, if I have my lecture today with students. The next one is Thursday. And if I run into a problem, I need to have it solved by Thursday. Otherwise, you start to doubt whether you really want to jump just because your inspiring teacher invites you to jump into that pool. So we actually have to fill um, the pool with water. Looks like that. Um, yes, now you concentrate on the pool and the water in there. I concentrate on the service ecosystem around it. Because there's probably people that watch the pool. There are people that are actually keep the garden nice, that have built the buildings around, that give you the ticketing services. So if you really put that together, then you actually have a lot of number of service modules. Educational service providing, we call that. And uh, if you look at that, you can provide that, and we see that in two different ways where uh, these services are actually rendered. One is an education platform, like uh, SAP University Alliances does now, like Amazon Web Services Educate provides. That type of uh, service provides you some teaching content from other teachers and professors. It allows you to have a collaboration portal community forum and training and technical support, all that needs to be available to entice the teachers to be the inspiring ones that we actually need. 
Um, at TU Munich, in the, the SAP University Competence Center, we add a little more. We build actual curricula, ready-to-use services where teachers can tell us we need a 10-week curriculum with exercises, with slides, with everything to be used in the classroom so they can move ahead and do their coaching bit. We also do the application support, train the trainer, and then you can scale it out. Actually, I think in 12 countries, 213 different universities, 1,600 professors every semester, teach about 40,000 students how to use stuff on the most actual versions and are confident doing that on a week-by-week -week basis. And when the next version comes out in the next semester, they will have access to the next version and their preparation time will be minimized so they can fully concentrate on that inspiring and coach job to make a jump uh, down there. And that helps you because we build actually more pools. Here you see a pool landscape. All other different members of the ecosystem do that. And I'm very proud that I can show you a slide about Amazon Educate. Educate is a service that really helps you um, to um, be an initiative to provide students and educators with the necessary uh, material to really accelerate cloud-related learning. Imagine, before you heard about that the first time, you take a young person and say, hey, learn AWS, and you give them access to the website, and all the new terms that you've seen today are immediately speaking to you. So you have to have a guided path through that. And we'll do that by giving you uh, credits. You actually can use the services. Um, training, so that training is for the students and for the teachers, um, by a collaboration portal where you can uh, really look at. And most important, curated content. Content that has been tested, that's usable, and where you can look at and uh, then actually create more people versed with all the ver uh, services that AWS um, offers. So we give access to universities, uh, but also we even go to the point that we have a grant program for those who actually want to make use of AWS for their research. We've even have it the case that high school students have been applying for these grants because they have a great idea that they would like to implement, um, but actually need help and, and access to AWS services. If that just let me go back a little bit to what Martin mentioned earlier on. That AWS Frankfurt is the fastest growing international region that we have. We have here in Berlin well over 130 jobs available for you if you're interested in that. And we'll launch at the end of this year the pop-off loft in Berlin that will help you get access to great content on one hand or get um, um, get support uh, for your questions. So you can go there to the loft um, to get solution architect help, but we also will have training and uh, certification uh, uh, tools available there for, for you. With all of this, you know, fighting the cloud is something like fighting gravity. Yeah? Cloud has become the new normal. If you're a company these days, you need to be able to move fast. You need to be able to focus exactly on those applications that you want to build.